Kayla's here to pick up baby Aspen. But today was her first official day at her new job. How'd you like it? Yeah. Are you tired? I'm exhausted and I just don't feel that great. It's yeah. just, I think pregnancy nausea has hit me. Yeah. I really need to find my nausea bands. Oh, do you still have them? Some if not, you can buy some more. Yeah, They're not that I just expensive. need to get some because I've just been so nauseous. Like, I just want to go, I'm going to run a little bit. I don't when know. I get home. <laughs> yeah. so bad, but no. I'm just exhausted. But yeah. um first day of work went good. Um these shoes are killing me. So I'm gonna take them off. They're cute. <laughs> they are cute. Oh, it's been um oh my gosh, look at the black rubbing off. Oh of I the see it. Leather. <laughs> oh my gosh. It'll it'll eventually stop doing that. Anyways, um it was good. I'm basically just like organizing and scanning stuff into their like archives or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that is a lot. Because this is stuff from like 1990 something. something. And <laughs> so, like, I mean, there was paper. I've never even seen this type of paper before. Okay, we had to pause a second because Aspen was getting a little frustrated. She's teething, you guys. Teeth have popped through the gums. And so now she's just kind of, you know, experiencing the whole your teeth coming in situation. The whole runny diapers and the anger stuff and just upset about it. Oh, last night was rough too. It's her of teeth. Of course, like the first, the night I needed sleep. Yeah. She just was up every three hours. Like I laid her down at 8.30 like we always do. She was up at 11.30. And she was up at three and then six and it was just like Woo. Oh, I felt like I had a new morning yet. I know, right? But anywho, it went really good. Um it's just very tedious and time consuming and I feel like I didn't get anywhere hardly, but it's not a rush job, obviously. It's gonna take like months and months and maybe even a year. Exactly. This, but I don't know, my goal is completed by the time I go out for maternity leave. Yeah. <laughs> You should, but like I said, it, like, yeah, like you said, it's not a race, and you'll get it done eventually. Yeah, maybe some Tylenol to help with her teeth. Now, Kayla isn't at her full-time job yet, right? No. That doesn't start till next month. No, I still have to work, I work three different jobs this week. Wow. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I know. But then, uh, eventually I you'll be to. down just to one job. And then next week is two jobs, and then we go to Tennessee next week, I think. Next oh week. yeah, that's right. Um, so that should be fun. Hopefully she's over the illness by then. I don't Maybe, know. hopefully. I mean, <laughs> I'm just like, really, we gotta be in the car for like a long seven time. hours, and I'm just like, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it. I think she'll do good. I think she'll sleep most of the time. Probably. Uh -uh. But I'm just like. And yeah. you take breaks, get her out, change her diaper, feed her, you know. Baby, or you can be bad baby. Said, I don't know. Mom. She said, we'll just, we'll just have to let you know. But her teeth are definitely coming through. You can feel them, and her feels it. She's yeah. over it. But we're going to go home. You'll go bye bye. You want to go bye bye? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh uh. She's like, do I want to laugh? Do I want to cry? What do I want to do? Oh, backwards, boo boo. Oh my gosh, the other day when we were at that rehearsal dinner, I know she grabs her hair real bad, <laughs> but she was sitting on the table and she just like out of nowhere, I was not expecting it, head butts me <gasps> so bad. Her head turns bright red. I'm like right in my mouth. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think my tooth oh. is loose. Like it was so forceful. Like she just bam and I was like, and then she starts screaming. I was like, oh my gosh. And then you didn't tell night, me about that? Yes. Oh, and then wow. Last night, Kayla was trying to put her in the extra saucer. <laughs> oh, God. And he went to like do this. And when he went to go like fix her foot, she just has this thing where she just likes to like hit, like drop her head and like headbutt things. And she just like full force starts flying at the extra saucer and like tapped her head a little bit. And I was like, I mean, she didn't have no red spot. Yeah. Really anything, but I was like, Aspen. Well, she's learning to do some of that. Like today, I had her like propped up. She literally sat up. Yeah, she. Will. She just sat up. Yeah. I mean, she kind of lost her balance. I was holding her, but I'm saying 
I didn't help her at all. She just did it with her own stomach muscles. Yeah. I was I like, mean, you go, girl. She's doing good. She's trying to get it, you know. She's learning and, like, I don't, some things are not good things, like headbutting people. <laughs> but She has not done that with me yet. I will be careful. You know, be careful. Because if you have her sitting down, like, on the counter and you're sitting in front of her, that's when she just likes, because she likes to try to stand up. She, she does that. Yeah. Thing. I guess she was just mad because I won't stand her up. She... <laughs> Right in my she mouth. She said, okay, Molly. Like, that's fine. Oh, my gosh. I felt so. I was like, she's going to have a goose egg on her head. She didn't. But. Thank goodness. Yeah. She's something else. She just, yeah. She's getting busy. She is. She's, she's a, a busy beast. She's a busy, busy girl. Beast. Well, I'm glad you had a good first day. <laughs> and she's laughing. <laughs> and Aspen had a good day. A little fussy, but not bad at all, really. Seriously, not at all. She just ate a lot today. The food has been ridiculous. Yeah. She ate so much yesterday. I was like, holy cow, little girl. She just likes to eat. She does. Uh, maybe it's also a combination of the teeth. Maybe it's soothing. Maybe, or probably. Or sucking something. But yeah. she don't want her passy. She don't want her passy. I've noticed that. Yeah. She'll take it when she's really tired, but any other time she don't care to have it. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. She's been fighting sleep a little bit, too. Probably. So... All right. We'll get through this, hopefully. Oh, you will, and then you get to do it all over again with your next one. <laughs> yeah. We have made it to Sonic. Um, we were trying to think what we wanted to grab for dinner because Aiden has a pickup game tonight. And I was like, I don't care. What do you guys want? And Aiden goes, what about Sonic? I was like, that sounds great. Let's just do Sonic. So we ordered some cheese tots, and Aiden got a sweet tea. I'm just going to drink my water. I brought a Pepsi, but I don't think I'm going to drink it anymore because i got to get sleep tonight. Um, so we're going to have a story time and tell you guys what went down last night. I did vlog some clips or whatever of what happened, and I'm going to go into details and stuff like that, and Briley can talk and stuff. We ended up at the ER last night, which was not fun for anybody. Was it, Briley? Mm -hmm. No. But we're going to wait for our food to get here, eat our food, and then have a little story time and tell you guys what happened last night and what went down. So stay tuned. All right, we have finished up eating, and we've drove over to the rink, and we're getting ready to go in, but we're going to have a little quick, 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 quick story time, um, and then we're going to head in. But me and Briley, <clears throat> I wouldn't say Aiden, he seems pretty good today. Me and Briley, and probably Dad, I know he's tired. We are all so exhausted. I'm tired, too. My heart's beating so fast. I know it's just because I drank caffeine today, which I shouldn't have, and... I mean, like, I'm shaky, I'm jittery, and I think it's just, I'm exhausted. I'm so exhausted. Okay, so back up, and I, let me tell you what happened. The night before, I didn't get much sleep that night because I was having my rash issue. I don't think you slept much either that night before. So, I didn't get much sleep that night. So, then the next day, yesterday, <clears throat> I was already tired. Well, last night we're in bed, or I, I was in bed, getting ready to go to bed and stuff, and Briley's in her room, and she's in there watching TV or whatever, and all of a sudden she's like, Mom? So I went in there. She said she was laying in bed. I don't know if I told this in my clips last night, so we're just going to recap. But she was um, laying in bed, and she said all of a sudden her, she had like this really sharp pain, like go from here down like through her chest area where her heart is and it was kind of wrapping around the left side under her arm she was mom i don't know what it is she's like it's not like a throbbing pain it's like a constant stabbing pain and i was like baby i don't know what it is i said you know try to lay in a different position i got barry upstairs because he was downstairs and she's moving around the bed and then barry's like you know do you think it might be you know gas build up or something because i've had that in my shoulders before and it is like no joke it hurts so bad. And um, she says, no, don't feel like that. And anyway, so we just kept, you know, trying to figure out what it is. I was checking her oxygen levels and all that. And those were great. They were fine. So I felt good about that. And the doctor said that was a good thing I did because if they had dropped, then we need to really rush. But we waited about 20 minutes. And in that 20 minutes, it never stopped. It just never went away. And she said right there towards the end of the 20 minutes, all of a sudden her heart started racing. And, you know, that could have been just her anxiety was up. I'm sure. I'm sure it was. Because my anxiety kind of was up from the situation. And um, I told her, I said, well, look, let's just go. You're not going to feel good about going to bed tonight. Neither am I. Knowing you're having, like, chest pains. Whether it be minor, nothing to worry about, whatever. I said, I, you know, we need to go get it checked out. So, we went in, and that's what we did. Um, we got in there, and I kind of did, like, recaps of last night. So, I'm going to throw those clips in here. All right, guys. Not expecting to vlog today at all but you know we're sitting at home and Briley's sitting in her room 
and she's like, mom, and I'm like, what is it? She said, I'm having like this really weird sensation in my chest. Like she felt like her chest got heavy and she couldn't breathe and like a sharp pain was going through her chest. She's like, I don't know what's wrong. So I was like, well, do you think you need to go to the hospital? Just tell me what you think. She's like, I don't know. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Well, the longer we sat there, it kind of got better and then it got worse again. And then her heart started racing and then she was having like hot flashes and cold flashes. And then she was having like joint pain on one side of her body, just some random, random symptoms. And I know when you're like in the moment, your anxiety can take over. And I told her it could be your anxiety is making these symptoms like seem way worse than they are. But if you're having pain in your chest, that's never a good thing. She said, I don't feel like it's my heart, but I don't know. So we're just trying to be on the safe side. So we're actually headed to the ER now. Um, Barry's driving because I was like, you just drive us your trucks behind mine. Let's just go. So he's going to drive us and drop us off. So we can just go and I have to worry about parking because at the hospital, parking is horrible we have literally gone to that hospital and had to do circles for 30 minutes or longer just to wait for somebody to leave because if you didn't get up near the door you had to park so far away it's just the walk's ridiculous so barry's gonna drop us off so that will help us out as far as that goes i'm sorry for the quality i'm on my phone didn't bring no camera was not expecting this um you okay right now you good Okay, but she said it's just hurting like all in here and kind of like down here and it was in the center of her chest and then it's kind of moved over and she said the pain's kind of going like in a diagonal. Um, so we're not sure what it is and I want to go check her out because she was sitting there going, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, let me just lay here. And she laid there and then it just got worse and I was like, okay, let's just go. You know, what you got to her, it's not gonna hurt anything to go, get it checked out. If it's nothing, you know, thankfully it's nothing and if it's something, we'll be where we need to be. So that's the plan. Um, I hadn't brought blankets and everything because he said in case I wanna go to sleep because you know how going to the ER is, it could take a long time. So he brought his stuff and he's prepared, but we'll be there in a minute and I will go in and get Riley checked in and see if we can find out what's going on. and give her an EKG and a chest x-ray. We're gonna go from there, right? Okay, how are you feeling right now, okay? Yeah, my knee still hurts for some reason. I'm that is so like weird. Shakes. That is weird. You need to tell her you're having shakes too because we didn't mention that. Okay. All right, Riley is back from an x-ray. They did a chest x-ray and they also did an EKG on her and she's trying to snap people on her Snapchat. It's okay, I know, I get it, you're a teenager. I'm trying to keep myself busy because I'm sitting here. <laughs> the bed's gonna break. If I'm sitting here and stress about it, I'll just stress myself out, so I'm just trying to keep myself busy. Yeah, she's really shaky and we can't figure that out, but I think a lot of that could be your anxiety too, is just high from what happened. Mm -hmm. um, but she's trying to keep herself busy or whatever, but we're waiting on the results for the EKG and we're waiting on the results for the x-ray. We, have, we, even, we haven't met the doctor yet. Mm -mm, we haven't. So once they read it, they'll come in and tell us what they think. And we're just hoping it's nothing, you guys. I'm hoping it's nothing. Maybe you're just tired. You need some sleep. I don't know what it is. I think I'm not tired. Yeah, you might not think you are, but you, your body might be tired. Yeah, you know? but I usually like can tell if I'm like... I know. Lack of, like a lot of lack of sleep. Yeah. And I don't feel like a lot of lack of sleep at all. And I don't know what that's it what is. That's what I was like confused. That's why I was confused when we were mm -hmm. at home, because I know what like some of those pains feel like. Because like I've never had like chest pain like this before. But I've had tightness. We just met with the doctor, and they're ordering now blood work. Mom's. She asked me, did anything run in the family? And I have thyroid condition, and she thought maybe it could be related. I don't think it is. 
But she's like, maybe we should check. And she wants to check your electrolytes and stuff. So, I love you. I will hold your hand. I am so sorry. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> she asked me a question. I couldn't lie to her. All right, Riley got her um, dreaded IV. Was it bad? Yeah, she did really good. Oh, yeah. Riley just scrolled on TikTok and it was done, right? Yeah, I just talked to Liza. Yeah, she's talking to Liza. Liza's still awake. Liza's on her ship, you guys, on her cruise boat. I don't even think I told them. I know, sad. But she's coming home this weekend, and we're going to try to see if her parents will let her come, like, come spend the night this weekend. I don't know if they will or not. We're going to ask. I so maybe they'll, maybe I'm hoping that they'll be, like, tired of her by the end of the week. And they'll be like, <laughs> Please go over go. there. Please go stay for you a know? week. Yeah, that's, that I works mean, for me. I don't I care. Don't, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping for that. Honestly. I know you've missed her. Yeah. I know you have. All right, so now we wait again. And they hadn't even drawn the blood part, I don't think. This is just the IV. But when they come... Wait, what does that mean? <clears throat> when they come here to get the blood, they'll just put it into there. You won't have to get a needle. She did a tube. Oh, she already did do it. There was a tube laying right there full of it. Perfect. That's it. Is that what it is? She, yep, okay. she did your labs. You're good. It's burning, though. Well, if it might be the tape. It could be pulling. You could always ask her to fix the tape. Isn't this, like, bad? Is what bad? To, like, suck all the blood out of my arm? It's not, baby. It's capped off. There's no blood coming out. Oh, you're fine. Hey. Okay. Quit stressing. You're good. <laughs> what? I feel like my arm's going numb. It's not going numb. You're fine. This is my bad arm. I should have told her to do it in this one. It's okay. It works just as good as the other one, okay? <laughs> So, she got, like I said, the EKG, she got chest x-rays, and they had to do an IV she was not fond of. Never is. And um, they did her lab work. Her thyroid came back fine. Her electrolytes were fine. She wasn't anemic. Everything looked great. So, we are just trying to figure out what's the what it could have been. I think this is one issue. She never drinks If you don't drink enough water, you can have heart palpitations from that. Because I've done that before. Like, been really dehydrated and my heart would just be kind of, like, weird feeling. Uh -huh. um, I think she's not getting enough sleep. I will go ahead and tell you that much. She stays on the phone half the night or she's watching TV or whatever. Like, put your phone down and go to bed. So, I told her tonight she's going to put her phone down and go to bed or I'm just going to take her phone. I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to put it in my room, or turn it off, and we'll all get sleep. Sound good? Because she's got to start taking care of herself. Because if you don't take care of yourself, ain't nobody else going to do it for you. Yeah. And with her having to get up early every day, you know, watching Aspen, whatever. You know, school's going to be starting back soon. Ugh, I don't want to think about it, but it is. You know, we need to get back in a better routine. You need a sleep schedule. It's wearing you down. I just feel like that's the problem. Um, we are night owls. I've told you this before. I've said it a million times. I rather be up all night and sleep half my day away but i don't like that idea because that's what i used to do when i was a teenager for briley she really can't do it because she's working so she if she don't sleep at night she can't sleep during the day when is she sleeping i mean there's sometimes she gets two three hours at night and she's trying to think that's gonna be enough to survive and get through her day and it's not and then she wants to drink coffee on top of that and no caffeine for a while that's what i told her not till you get your body back on its right sleep schedule and we need to start trying to go to bed. You know, I don't mind if you go to bed 12, 1 o'clock. I'm not saying you have to go to bed at 8 o'clock at night. But I'd like for you to go ahead and start settling around 11-ish. Maybe you'll be sleepy by midnight and you get some sleep. Because we don't have to get up super early right now for Aspen. Um, but we will next month. But it's okay because next month we got to get in a routine of getting up for school anyway. I didn't like wake up late tomorrow. I know. Oh, well, Kayla said she may not be going to work tomorrow. I know. I heard. No, right now. She said oh. Aspen's running a fever. All right, guys. We're going to head in, watch a little hockey, and go home and go to bed. That's yep. the plan. So, let's go.